Well, today marks the start of National Volunteer Week, where we take the time to acknowledge and appreciate those who help others in our community. And St John has 9,000 volunteers right across WA, the most of any organisation. And Adrian Alleberg is at their headquarters this morning. Adrian, you're finding out how our volunteers get trained. I certainly am, but at the moment I'm joined by Michelle Fife, who is the CEO of St John. Now, Michelle, uh, tell us how big a role volunteers really play, because this is the first day of National Volunteer Week. How big a role do they play? Well, what I would say is that volunteering is actually the foundation of the St John organisation worldwide. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't deliver the services that we have here in Western Australia and ambulance and event health without our volunteers. Mm -hmm. Now, behind us is someone doing some cutting-edge training. Now, this is a VR course. Tell us about that and what that enables the trainees to do. So this is the future of first aid training. It's an immersive experience and so people get to actually practice their skills in a range of scenarios. We like to think that uh, it is the future and it is how you're going to learn your first aid you know, probably in the next few months. We'll probably roll it out in the next couple of months. Well that's awesome. I'm a huge fan of VR. I've got one uh, at home myself. Now tell us, uh, now if someone does want to volunteer and uh, but they're not sure what role they would play, what would you say to them in terms of how to start and what they can possibly do? So what I would say is pick up the phone and give us a call or jump onto our website and have a look. There are lots of different roles. It doesn't necessarily have to be in the back of an ambulance. Mm -hmm. There are lots of different things you can do. You can help out at events. You could do some community transport, help people get to their doctor's appointments or whatever. There's lots of things that you could do and we'd actively encourage you to give us a call. Well, fantastic. Thank you very much. You heard it right here first. Thank you very much, Michelle. Let's take a look at the weather. Currently 14 degrees, headed to a top of 21. A look across our suburbs. Uh, Fremantle 21, Scarborough 21 degrees and in our week ahead Tuesday a partly cloudy 20 degrees, Wednesday a mostly sunny 22, Thursday partly cloudy and 22 and Friday partly cloudy and 21. Lou I'm going to give this a go, this might not actually fit on my head very well <laughs> but uh, no it's not going to fit at all. Anyway this is, uh, I'm going I'm to give it a bit of a Give it a bit of a crack and uh, check back in when I'm, a, when I'm an expert paramedic. Okay, such clever technology. Probably. Thank yeah. you Adrian. Yeah. And that's all from me this morning. Now let's see what Adrian is up to tomorrow. Well, a big thanks to all the volunteers here at St John. I think I might need a bit more training before I join them. Tune in tomorrow. I'll be cooking some Middle Eastern cuisine with one of Perth's best chefs. I'll see you then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>